Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to change connection string at runtime. And uh, there is a no options actually uh, have uh, to uh, change connection string from the addb context and the template class here. You know that uh, we just register it uh, application db context right at here uh, builder.service.addb context and in which you can pass the application db context so there is a no options to change right at here uh, to change the connection string so uh, to do this if you want to change connection string in esp.net core in the data folder if you have not uh, there in your uh, directory just create it the data directory or there is uh, else where you can uh, just create that class db context factory class db context factory class is uh, a static class first of all a db context class and in which you can uh, define the uh, static type dictionary and here we have the initialize connection string and in which you can pass just uh, connection string parameters okay so uh, here we have a set connection string uh, method where you can just initialize the connection string uh, so here we have a dictionary of the type const string and const string just pass that connection string uh, public variable okay and uh, here we have a create method that just pass uh, application db context class okay just return the application db context class and here we have a connection id just pass it from the uh, from your uh, man uh, file that is the program.cs file if con dot is not null string dot is null or empty con uh, connection id just connection string of con id just pass to the con string by using the application builder options builder new db context option builder application db context just pass it here and here your application db context is there that, that is a simple db context where, where you can pass it okay so if you uh, okay so just application db context and option builder dot use sql server connection string return new application db context option builder dot options and else throw an exception connection id okay so uh, there we have an options to pass connection string uh, in a multiple uh, to change the connection string at runtime by using this class so after that you have to add uh, that uh, class in the pipeline so just open program.cs file and here you can see that uh, create a dictionary where con string and db1 is the separate connection string builder.configuration connection string and there is the next connection string db2 uh, there is okay so here we have and in this method db context factory dot set connection string that is the cons con string okay so uh, there is uh, connect connection string and db context factory is there you can say that db context factory is there and in which you can that um, here we have a set connection string method that is the type of string and con string pass uh, from here you can see here we have two connection string uh, application db context connection and application db connections two that is pass it from here by using builder dot configuration one and two okay in the db1 and db2 and after that db context factory dot set connection string there is a db1 and db2 in the uh, db context factory right at here one by one okay so after doing this uh, thing you have to change your connection string by the your controller class so db context factory dot create db1 and if you want to change connection string just pass it here db2 so uh, just check the example and here you can see that uh, your data will be passed it here and db context is created very well and here you can see that there is uh, db context is created your context id is created okay so uh, if you just pass in the program.cs file and here you can say that there is a no need because sql connection is string is there so just so everything is clear and pass connection string is here and just 
you can do application db context is initialized in the program.cs file and here we have and you can see that here we have data that is the connection id context id so db1 uh, is the actual way so just test is there by using the db context factory class you change the connection string at the runtime. time so there we have an options to change the connection string at the runtime. time so here we have a db context options and here we have the context id is the data and employee is the class where you can see that ent entity types uh, and everything so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core